father, as it were, of the fish and chips business in Ireland was a famous gentleman called Giuseppe Cerbi, who in the 1880s started selling fish and chips to the Irish. He was a well-respected character in the local community, whose abode was initially in the general area between St. Patrick's Cathedral and Dublin Castle. His first proper fish and chip shop was opened in Priest Street, then called Brunswick Street. Here on the right is Bernardo Cervi, a surviving grandchild of the famous Giuseppe, with one of his sons. Bernardo is pictured beside a sculpture called La Pietà by famous Italian sculptor Ermenel Gildo Lupi. This fine piece of work, which is now housed in the gardens of Ars Neteron in Dublin, was donated by the Italians to the Irish nation in 1948 to express their gratitude for the aid given to Europe and war-torn Italy. On that occasion Bernardo Cervi was the fundraiser amongst the Italians to collect enough money to pay for the transport of the 13-ton sculpture from Italy to Ireland. In later times the business of fish and chips was uh, continued and developed by a number of large Italian families who, like the Cervis, came to Ireland from the same region in Italy. The names like Cafollas, Fortes, Macaris, Dimascio and others are associated with this business. For decades, the Fortes and the Cafollas were the undisputed kings of the fish and chip restaurants, takeaways and uh, ice cream parlors in the whole of O'Connor Street, Dublin. historical affinities between the two countries, Italy and Ireland have always maintained very close cultural ties. The Italian Cultural Institute was founded in Dublin in 1954 and ever since has been a platform for countless ongoing cultural activities and exchanges. 